OnePlus tells us more about all the power behind its future OnePlus 5. Samsung brushes off its iris scanner issues, even if it's still trying to figure it out. And HTC U11 has begun its tour around the United States. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if any of you spoils the new Alien movie for me before I watch it, I will ignore your comments for the recap, man. I'm serious. This is Pocketnow Daily. Official news today begin with deals. The LG Tone Studios are Juan's favorite headset, up to the point where I saw the guy a few days ago and he wears them permanently. I love my Tone Studios as well. They're currently on Amazon for 155 bucks. That is a crazy deal for everything you're getting. I highly recommend it. Other interesting news have to do with the brand new HTC Link VR. We just heard Google telling us at Google I.O. that HTC would be one of the partners for standalone VR. The Link VR is pretty much it, I believe, because first of all, you're not putting your phone on your face. That is awesome. It's what I loved about the LG 360 VR. You're using USB-C to connect to your U11. That is awesome. We should be expecting this Link VR very soon, and apparently what you're getting is a 3.5-inch display on the screen, 1080p. So certainly read 1080 by 1200. I think this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to give it a try. And speaking of HTC, let's talk about the U11 as uh, even though the company didn't really sell the 10 and carriers in the United States last year, the U11 is making it to Sprint and it's starting a tour very soon. So for those of you interested in wanting to hold this phone and squeeze whatever you want out of it, it's going to be available in Sprint stores for you to do that. I really like this phone so far since I started my review period. So yeah, I'll give it a check out. Now let's talk about Samsung. Yesterday we discussed the problems with the iris scanner. Samsung today brushed things off by telling us that, uh, well, getting a camera that can do that infrared imagery is very difficult to find because they're no longer sold, and that printing in infrared is also not easy, and the fact that uh, it's actually also not easy to get the customer to want to give you a photo of their iris and the contact lens. They're right. It's very difficult for you to get all these things, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. So yeah, we'll see. And finally, the very hot news that they have to do with the OnePlus 5 in a recent forum post where the company tells us everything about its power, the fact that the Snapdragon 835 blazes, and that it's addressing the touch latency issues with these high-speed cameras to be able to verify if there is or isn't, because according to them, there isn't any benchmarks to verify this, and they're actually right, there aren't. But anyways, it leads me to the question of the day. I mean, for those of you that own the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T, did you ever have touch latency issues? Because I dealt with a few problems with the display being unresponsive for the notification shade, but it rarely happened on the OnePlus 3. Didn't have any problems whatsoever on the 3T. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your experience. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.